Hi, this is John MacArthur from Desai Solutions. As part of our tips and tricks series, Desai is offering our customers a lot of small vignette videos that showcase certain functionalities in SolidWorks. Here today I want to show you the basic function behind the smart component functionality in SolidWorks. So basically I have just two blocks here. I've got one that's embedded in the other. And I want this to be able to cut its own pocket, drill its own tapped holes, and probably populate a couple of screws into the assembly as well. And then every time I use this block in another assembly, it can bring its own features and screws with it. First thing I'm going to do is edit this bottom plate, start a sketch there, and use the existing geometry of this component to create that sketch. Now if you wanted a certain clearance there, you'd click on the Offset Entities button as opposed to Convert Entities. I'm going to use that to create a cut in this part. And then I'm going to want to place some taps here. I'm going to use the whole wizard function there. Grab a quarter inch 20 tap. And then for my positions, just make sure that things are on center to the existing holes. I'm then going to turn on my toolbox. So I can access the standard component library and use the smart fastener functionality to populate the holes into this part. It accesses the library and puts in a socket head cap screw, which in this case is what I was looking for. Should you need to, you can also apply a bottom and top stack, which would, of course, put on your washers, nuts, things of that nature. I'm just going to go with the default fastener here to show the functionality. And now I'm ready to create this component as a smart feature. I'm going to select the cam block here, edit component, and then go to tools and go to Make Smart Component. For the Smart Component, I'm going to select this function here. For this component option, these are additional components that can come with it. So if you want this to come as a sub-assembly or with these screws, for example, you'd select these two. When you click into Features over here on the left, the parts will disappear. It does this on purpose, and you can show them again if you want. But what it's trying to do is get the components out of the way so that you can select the underlying features. And I'm interested in bringing this cut and these holes with it. When I hit the green check, it'll now make that a smart component. Now there's nothing terribly smart about it here in this assembly, but the whole purpose of this is now I can take this into a new assembly and then change and add those additional features as necessary. So go ahead and close, save this, and open up a new assembly here. Referencing a completely new block, so you can drag and drop this into any assembly. I would go and grab this cam block that is now my overall component that I want to reuse in multiple assemblies, and I'm just going to mate that into place. So maybe I'd like a distance here so that it embeds itself into the part again. And I'll go ahead and center that block up. With the Smart Component feature, you will be, will be necessary to uh, mate all of the components in to exactly where you want them. I'm just going to leave this one moving for the time being to showcase the functionality. When you're ready to bring in the Smart features, you simply right-click on the part. You'll also notice it has a star next to it here, denoting that it is a Smart Component. When you right-click on the part, you'll find the ability to insert Smart Features. When you click on that function, It'll bring you up the old assembly that you referenced, looking for some reference faces and geometry. Here you notice it's highlighting the top face, so I need to click on the corresponding face here. You notice it showcases the holes, and then you just simply hit the green check. Now, it's made an in-context cut on this particular part. If I jump back to the part, you'll see it actually has the holes cut with the taps in it already, referencing that smart feature. The screws also followed. 
So now every time I use this cam block, I can bring its own features and fasteners with it. Thank you for your time.